Hi guys! Today we're making this miniature treasure chest and treasure map. You can fit this for any scale you want, but I'm working in 1 to 12. Let's work on the chest first. To get started, you're gonna get out some regular sized popsicle sticks and a pair of scissors. Cut the sticks to size and then use a file to finish off the edges. For the front of the chest, I cut three equal pieces of a popsicle stick and then glued them together. Make a matching piece for the back and two slightly shorter ones for the sides and let dry. Then glue the four pieces together in a box shape. I then used a few slightly wider popsicle sticks to glue together to form the bottom and glued this inside the bottom of the box. Now to make this going from a box to a chest we need to make a lid. I'm taking one of the wider popsicle sticks and drawing on two half circles. Then I'm using a craft knife to cut them out. I'm showing you this real time so you can see how careful I am when doing this. But if you're a child and you're not comfortable with using knives, you can have a parent to help you. Or you can actually just file away all the excess with a file, it just takes a really long time. Once you got the two pieces ready, you're gonna cut some more popsicle sticks the same length as the front of the box and then you're gonna glue it in between the two pieces to make the lid. Once that's all dry, you can use the file to round off the edges. To add some detail, I'm using some thinner stirring sticks to glue onto the outside of the bottom of the chest. I filed all the ends of each stick at an angle so they would fit nicely together at the corners. Add the stirring sticks around the top part of the lid as well, and now we should have two matching pieces. I wanted my chest to be a little darker, so I used some watered down brown acrylic paint. Let that dry, and then get out some thin metal. I'm using the tin from a tea light. Then I made this little pattern that fit the corners of the chest, sketched it onto the tin and used a fine pair of scissors to cut it out. Then use something flat, I'm using a blade, just to help bend the middle around so it gets the shape of the corner. 
Then glue it on. Make one for all the corners. To make the lock, I cut out a square piece of metal and then sketch out the shape of the keyhole. Then I poked a hole through the metal and used the fine pair of scissors to cut out the shape. Once you're happy, glue it to the chest. For each handle you're gonna need a square piece of metal and a few drum rings. You're also gonna need some pliers. Cut a piece of the jump ring and use the pliers to form it into a half circle. Then glue them to the chest like this. Then attach another jump ring to that little half circle and there you got the handle. For the lid you're gonna glue on a strip of metal to each side. I wanted my metal parts to be gold, so I used some alcohol ink to color it. Then I used some gold nail art studs and glued those onto the metal parts. Now we're going to connect the top and bottom with some hinges. These are miniature hinges I got off eBay. And there you go, that's our basic chest. I went in with some more acrylic paint because I wanted it a bit darker and then I glazed it with a matte glaze. While that's drying, we're going to move on to our treasure map. I used some basic sketchbook paper that I crumbled up a few times to break up the fibers. Rip off any excess to get a rough edge. To make the map look old and stained, I use some watercolors. Finally, I draw on the map itself with a black watercolor pencil. I fix my treasure map with a little bit of hairspray, and then we're done. Now you can fill the chest with whatever treasure you like. I use some nail art glitter and rhinestones. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave me a like if you did, and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!